one by one. We may not live here today. All of us here are highly recognized. So permit us to move that take Labour Party first. It is only way you take Labour Party first because of the its policies, ideologies and ideals that we want to change Nigeria for the better. That you are able to come together, but you have not gone into the contest, but be one another's helper. It may be possible that uh, we will not all go in and all win, but let's losing make us become enemies to, do, to the winners. Let us look at the bigger picture, that wherever we are doing, we are doing it because we want to change the system that is being very terrible to almost every Nigeria. If we do that, I believe we are going to move forward much, much faster. Having said that, I wouldn't want to say so much because my people have said it all. But let me just try to crown it up. I said earlier that I thank you very much. And I also listened to the MC when he, I believe he was trying to refer to Barrister Julius Abure that, uh, oh no, I think it was uh, Dan Hausa who said it, is it? No, 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 no. Dangwari, Dangwari. Mba. Mba. Let me add it also. Dangwari, Dan Hausa. Because I was speaking with him the other day, mm -hmm. but we are not speaking English. You know, you know all of them. <laughs> now, when he said that, uh, you know, when somebody is, has, is of low level intelligence, and I thought he was referring to Abure. I said, no, that's not the case. It is people who have extreme intelligence that can be able to manipulate. The only, the only good thing is that, like my people say, every day is for the team. But there shall be one day that is for the honor. I think that's exactly the case with the barrister Julius Abure. He, the man is very intelligent in negativity. After all, he's a lawyer. Yes, he's very intelligent, but in negativity. No, it's true. You are told that he didn't, he didn't come to the leadership of the Labour Party. He was not elected. You know very well what happened. I was president of Nigeria Labor Congress when somebody, I have been trying to recall the person, somebody came to my office as president of NRC then with Barrister Comrade Abure. What did, they, what did they come for? They said, they, please, they, they brought him to beg me to please allow him to come to the Labor Party Center as assistant secretary. He was a secretary, I think assistant secretary in Edo. Yes. I said, I have no problem. He's a worker, let him, let him go. I tell you, there was a day I, I, I was invited by the secretary, Farouk. When he took me to the office of Abure, that, that by then a chairman of the Labour Party. I don't think he spoke more than five words to me. He even pretended he never knew me at all in this world. But my joy is that uh, if today, if I yeah, is the chairman of Labour Party, I don't, I'm not demeaning him. But my joy is that if I go to President, former President Goodluck Jonathan, or former President Obasanjo, or even IBB, and all these people, if you see how we will sit down and discuss. You know, you know that if an Abure will not recognize me, I don't have any, any problem. My judgment, you must go and do these things together. That is why the problem came in. Because by 2021, 20, let, the, that's the then leader, let uh, A.A. Salam died. And uh, it is, a story for another day to tell you how Abure emerged as even the chairman. The, the constitution provides that, that there are deputies. 
And by hierarchy, if there's no chairman, it is one of the deputies that will step in. And even after, if there, there are no more deputies, there are six vice chairmen. But Abure was not even in the line of the, uh, of the chairmanship. But he manipulated his way. That's why I said he's extremely uh, intelligent. Intelligent In negativity. He's a young boy. Yes. So with that, even with that, uh, with that court uh, judgment, the man now continued to ignore the judgment. Each time NLC would say, come, let us do this thing. At one point, even INEC had to write to, to him, to them, to say, look, you must comply with the consent judgment. Unfortunately, they decided to look the other, the other way. And the journey continued, and the struggle continued. As for our brothers out there, unknown to you, they have started coming back. Many of them are approaching us, even from Abure camp. <laughs> night and day. <laughs> Myself here, I have attended several meetings with some of the working national working committees of Abure. They expired. Yes, I have. That is the truth. Many of them are looking for safe landing, soft landing. Some thought we do not know what is happening around them. Some asking us to join them to remove Abure. Yes, before God and man, what I'm saying is truth. If what I'm saying is not truth, let me not survive today. Uh, yes, that is truth. No, if you know what you're talking, you will not be afraid to swear. Yeah. I've attended meeting with one of the executives of Abure. They want Abure out. They want us to join them. And we know in our heart they're looking for soft landing. We have met many honorable members. Yes, that were not visiting us before. That is the truth. We opened our doors for them to come. Some thoughts will repulse them. We we'll tell them, say, look, if there's no sin, there's no forgiveness. <laughs> we know that some are ashamed, but we're not seeing it that way. No, we're not seeing it that way. And I'm asking all of you to open the door. Let them come back. If there's no sin, there'll be no repentance. It's unfortunate that many will burn their fingers before they realize the truth. Then that will be their own punishment for not seeing the truth. If you think Abure, many are afraid in case Abure survive, in case Abure remains in the office. Abure cannot remain in the office. It is over. Just like we cannot go back yesterday. Abure cannot come back. No, yesterday is gone. Can never come back. That is the truth. We saw it coming. And that's why Einek has stopped dealing with him. It's an open thing. It's not a hidden thing. And that is true. Many of you are conversant what happened in Ondo. He couldn't complete it. They sold the form to the man, but he couldn't complete the processing because the tenure expired. And we are trying to solve the situation to solve the problem. So I'm telling you that you're on the right track. You are doing the right thing. Those who are dreaming to suspend the credible people. <laughs> no. You see, it's easier for a madman to call somebody who is saying a madman. Yeah. Yes, it's normal. But you see, when you look at him, seeing him with pity, that is the truth, seeing him with pity. Nelson Mandela said, if we should treat them badly the way they treated us, then we have no reason to say that what they did to us was wrong. We are not going to treat them the way they treated us. We are not going to call them bad. We are not going to call them mad. But with their actions, they know they have gone astray. And we are asking them to come back because the truth is this. We want the better side of Nigeria to emerge because hunger do not know tribe or race or religion or wherever you come from. Insecurity do not know tribe or race or religion. And these are the things we want to solve. So please, I'm pleading with all of you to support the project, the activities of NTC in your ward, in your local government, at the state level, at the national level. We are not perfect. It's only Almighty God that is perfect. Yes. But what we are going to assure you is that whatever decision we are taking, whatever we are doing, to the best of our conscience, is for the betterment of all of us. Thank you. Thank you.
But it's nothing. You have had it now. Abuja has no power, and all his group are just they don't. We know what they are looking for. The small money when Abuja give, give them, that's what they are defending, and it cannot work. Look at the people. Look at them here. We will fight to the last, and we are going to get. I think six over six. Six, yes. over six. Eh? Yes. six over six. That is what we are looking for in Abuja here. Your people can go to uh, Kaduna and get, but Abuja here, leave it for us. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Leave it for us. We are going to get everything that needed in this Abuja for our party. Therefore, uh, I appreciate. And I thank you for visiting us and taking your time to visit us. As you have visited us now, God will take you back safely. Everybody that is here, God will take you back safely. And we, you know, uh, elders, when they pray for you, both at your home, it must come to pass. Whether they, they prayed for your good or for your bad. We are praying for the bad of our Abure people. And that is why they said, Elders Forum, they will do what? They, they want to re remove us and then now put uh, authentic elders. And I told them that we are, we are original elders, so you cannot do nothing. We, are, we know we are with the people that we know that has the party can do us nothing. Therefore, your suspension is null and cancelled. Therefore.